This video is brought to you by Dynamic Custom Beadworks. Head over to dynamicbeadworks.com now to get your own custom video game sprite. You got the touch. You got the power. Uh, candy bar. Yes, I did beat Phantom Pain, and yes, the ending was awesome. It left me wanting, though. I don't give a damn. All I fucking know is Ocelot's a fucking asshole with his Excellent fucking Excellent speech, my like friend. A... Speaking Uber. of Ocelot... <laughs> Gift of the silver tongue. They say it's the mark of a good officer. Uh, did I finish Metal Gear Solid already? Yeah, we actually Americans are too in love with the sound of their own voice to speak the truth. Identify yourself. I am Shalashaska, also called Revolver Ocelot. What do you want? This machine will be quite useful. What are you planning to do? Steal this thing? Steal? No, no. I'm taking it back. Strap in, boys. Story mode is hitting hard now. Nobody move! Understood? This ship now carries enough Simtex on its key structural points to blow it out of the water at the touch of this button. That's right. No one has to die needlessly. Okay, not that it really means much, but just looking what do you intend to do with at the game catalog on Twitch, streets. we are the only one I was raised in Zinzin, streaming Metal Gear Solid 2 right now, and all 273 of you, what are, you talking are super about? awesome After for hanging cold out war, and being my home in chill mode by watching the story time with me. So, round of applause to you guys. Is there a Fucking point awesome. to this sad story? Not you will understand. Land, friends, dignity, all sold to the highest bidder, the United States of America. Even the technology that gave birth to these weapons is Russian, developed by us. What do you intend to do? Russia yeah, will Ronnie, rise again. like, it, it's kind of a staple Destroy point with the Metal the Gear games of Rivens raging over Ocelot. You so don't, don't worry, no dude, he's fine. Of selling Metal Gear. As I said, I came to take it back. No, zombie, it's it's okay. It's okay, let him go. Yes. I will let him know if he's getting too the too far. Like, because honestly, I think it's funny. How's that possible? Ocelot. You have you sold us out? <laughs> I was never in your employ, Kalukovich. 
Are you still like, in league you guys with get, uh, You get your laughs no when I get salty over trend. games. Which is, I, I'm Russia fine with that. That comes with the territory. Idea. And watching Since people get mad is funny. When, did you when it comes to video games. I'm glad you noticed, comrade. What we have now is a rare opportunity where I get to have war. my laughs at Rivens' expense ah! because he hates Ocelot so much. <laughs> Metal Gear only has room for one! Then, to be perfectly honest, I'm pretty Look sure Rivance is kind of stealing the show right we'll now. Like, he's here. keeping the chat nice and active. Damn he's keeping you. you guys talking. Because he is just raging out about us a lot. <laughs> so, you know what? I say let him have his fun. But oh yeah, Rivench, you, you, you notice something different about Ocelot there? <laughs> He's fucking dumbass, how you hear a fucking background check that did not notice half the time he joined the people double across the fucking majority. <laughs> Looks like you were long overdue for retirement. I can't stop. That right there, Rivens, that, that's going to come into play here in just a moment. And we'll also explain why I told you on Twitter why it's kind of necessary that he's still alive. Show's over. If you wish to live, I suggest you run now. This ship is still in the lower New York Harbor. You may yet make it to shore if you swim for your life. In a while, brother. Who are you? You know who I am. Liquid? Not so young anymore, eh, Snake? You're drowning in time. I know what it's like, brother. No wonder Naomi passed you over for the Fox Dive program. Ouch! <laughs> Get out of my, my mind, mind, Liquid! <laughs> the price of physical prodigy. Few more years and you'll be another dead clone of the old man. Our raw materials are vintage, brother. Big Boss was in his late fifties when they created his copies. But I, I live on through this arm! So yeah, Ocelot had Liquid's arm grafted to his body so he could have a hand again. And because of that, Liquid is able to take over his body and Liquid Snake is officially still alive. What the fuck, Kojima?
what it takes after all! You're going down, Snake, with this tanker! Reject the new arm, especially if that ship Snake! is left outside. Why the fuck do I feel bad? <laughs> oh, Ryvans, when you go off on a tangent, I love it so. of Snake on the scene. The Cypher was most useful. I look forward to tomorrow morning's news flash. I would say the Marine Corps' plans are on indefinite hold. Yes, of can course. Can I boost my mic volume? Yes, I can. Just let me know if it's too loud, because like, I'm already looking at the dial, and like, it's already Snake! starting to explain. Turn the game volume down slightly. Okay, no problem. 86, let's move it down to 80. So the game's gonna be at 80%, and the mic, the mic has always been at, like, fucking, uh, full. Snake, do you remember the sinking of that tanker two years ago? Of course. Terrorists blow a hole in an oil tanker full of crude barely 20 miles off the shore of Manhattan. 
Your classic nightmare. It didn't take long for the government to put an oil fence around the whole mess. And then that massive offshore cleanup facility went up inside. The big shack. I hear the cleanup isn't quite over yet. It takes time. But in the meantime, the shell's become a landmark. A symbol of environmental protection. That's literally the dumbest fucking robot I've ever seen. It looks like Godzilla fucked a tank in the head of a like baby that had issues being social. <laughs> I hate it, Ryan, 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 but I've heard of like him as an intro character. Yeah, like, that seems to be the general consensus with Ryan, is everybody hated him at first and then grew to love him. What makes them think they can get that much? There was a government-sponsored tour going on at the Big Shell that day. Hostages, huh? A VIP from one of the major conservation groups, and one from our own government. The most important person in a sense. The most important person? James Johnson. The president? Unless the demands are met, the terrorists intend to blow the Big Shell out of the water. And the crude will ignite, turning the Manhattan Harbor into an inferno. That's not the worst case scenario. If the chlorides being used to decontaminate the seawater go up with the oil, oh, Reaper, insta love. Wait, I just fucking thought of something. If he has In the fucking words, the the what does that mean? Solid is gonna kill him? And, and mercy because that shit won't fly with me. <laughs> the worst environmental disaster in history. <laughs> you have two mission objectives. One. Infiltrate the offshore decay. Oh, okay, mods, need you to do some work. For some reason, Nightbot is not doing his fucking job. Disarm the terrorists by any means necessary. You should know that SEAL Team 10 is also conducting a rescue operation. Is this a joint effort? No. Foxhound remains a covert body. Don't alert them to your presence. That is an order. This is Snake. I'm now inside strut A of shell one. How are things? We're in luck. Looks like there are no sentries posted here. What's the visibility? The lights on the plant struts are functioning. I won't have to use the IR goggles. Any problems? There was a brand new hole cut through the oil fence. There's someone else besides me that wanted to get in badly. That's not possible. What about SEAL Team 10? They landed on the roof of the big shell as planned. And by the way, Snake, we're changing your code name for all following communication. Crydian? What's wrong? Uh, with I love Snake, Snake Eater. Well, Just I love them all, but this is my favorite one. You are now yeah, Crydian. Like, this Ryan. one has a very special place in my heart. Right, so, uh, throw a follow on the channel, man, so you can keep up to date because training. we're going through all of them I've chronologically. I've 300 missions in VR. I feel like some kind of legendary mercenary. Okay, we'll skip that part. Make sure nobody sees you. If you need to, contact me by codec. The frequency is 140.85. When you want to use the codec, push the select button. When we need to reach you, contact you, the codec will beep. When you hear that noise, press the select button. The codec's receiver directly stimulates the small bones of your ear. No one but you Radiant, will be able thanks to hear for the follow, dude. It. All right. I'll contact you if anything changes. First, make your way to the upper section of the big shell. How do I get up to the next level? Will you be playing Revengeance? There's an elevator at the yes. far end of that area. Use yes, that. I will be playing Revengeance. Sounds good. Your new sneaking suit uses electrofiber technology, a byproduct of fiber optics research. 
The texture isn't far removed from rubber, but the material protects against a wide range of toxic substances. The suit itself has a wide array of built-in sensors. It is referred to as smart skin in military R&D. Data about damage to different regions of the body, including blood loss, is exchanged between the suit and the intravenous nanomachines to create a feedback system. That's the only one I've ever played. Pressure on my All right. if, like, Relax. Huh? The suit applies very pressure to major internal organs like, to maximize performance like and safeguard the their functions. Games, they call this the skull suit. Fox it is hands Don't down one of my favorites because I, I love over-the-top action games. The story is pretty easy to follow. The hatch with it has a circular one of the handle best will open into the elevator ever. area. Locate the hatch first. Like the the boss fight is so goddamn high. Like moving on to main I am fully mission objectives. expecting my chat to fucking explode when I play it. And then it has one of the most batshit insane bad guys ever. Sorry, I had to send a, send a message to a uh, friend I haven't heard from in a while, and it, I'm I'm happy to see hit uh, see his face on Facebook again. Nothing, nothing. RP sensor. Damn, I'm gonna have to buy it or rent it. See, like, all right, uh, Crydian, did you ever play Bayonetta or Devil May Cry? Do you like those types of games? Like, that, that's a very, very important question. Eh, so-so? Gotcha. Um, well, the reason why I asked that is because Metal Gear Rising, um... It's it's not a Kojima production. That's here. That's the thing. It's not a Kojima production. It's not considered part of the Solid series. It continues the story of Raiden after four. But um, the game is made by Platinum, the guys that originally were with Capcom and they made the Devil May Cry games, and then they went off on their own and made Platinum games, and they're the guys that made Bayonetta. So the guys that made Bayonetta are the dudes that made Metal Gear Rising. All right, am I just am I am I being a dumbass here? Or what? Yes, I am being a dumbass. Fuck. the glitch dio blowing dim wittery let me in and let me have that fucking gun <laughs> oh can i just hang off the ledge really Pliskin's electric shaver is not the easiest thing to pet <laughs> i think you're gonna have to go in the water okay Well, wait, they said hang off the ledge. Oh, yeah, yeah, that is easier, ain't it? Look at that shit. M9. There we go. Groovy. See, I... I never... And I never understood that about myself. Like, I can have a game that I haven't played in years, and I remember every fucking facet of it, and then when it comes to something so fucking simplistic, my mind for some reason just automatically overcomplicates it.
Colonel, I've sighted an enemy sentry. AN-94 and a Makarov. Those grenades, all his equipment is Russian-made. Must be a Gerlukovich man. That was Gerlukovich? Where you the electric a Russian oh, private army that was in line to work with the Shadow Moses Takeover Group four years ago. Yeah, I don't know. Zombie Haven 250. You keep this up and you'll be partnered in no time. I hope so. I really hope so, Zombie Haven, because um, here's the thing. A country. Um, I have applied three times and I've been denied every single time. And uh, the channel gets a, a consistent viewership of anywhere between 50 to about 300 viewers, depending on what's being played. Um... And, I don't know, like, they're big things. Oh, yeah, I gotta do the pull-ups. Fucking level grip. They they want a consistent viewership of about 500 plus, And I haven't come close to getting that. Colonel, there's definitely another intruder in here besides me. That's not a possibility. Not a team. Looks like a solo job. Crydian, One I man. agree. I would love a we game not know who he that is, explains he what happened to Ryden between two and three. Two in the and area. They're all out cold. Whoever he is, but the problem is with everything skills. that went on with Konami, it's probably never going to happen now. But for now, like there, you there was an ad on Kotaku today. To there was work. an article on Kotaku. There's a terminal in front of the elevator. Where Konami a registered Big Boss's face for fucking pachinko machines. Node. Use the node to gain access to the big oh, shell facilities make the nerd network. Joke. <laughs> then what? Pull up the map of the structure. That'll let you activate the Soliton radar. The Soliton radar? True. That radar uh, came Reaper, in useful that's during the thing, VR like, training. Reading through all the stuff that they system. sent me uses about biological magnetic fields they don't as give a fuck about my these follows. estimated they enemy care positions about are projected viewership. onto a map according they, to they reference want, points like, collected every time via I go gps on, signals they want and field plus. personnel reports we need to get to the map through the big shells node to put this data processing to practical use the node yeah, they unit will is about three feet high should be colored but not blue. very often each area has That's at the least thing. one they they will make exceptions but not very often how do i gain access like um here, here, here's the thing. Just push like, uh, the action button in front of one the of my node. best friends. Hope within chaos. Uh, Sean the Fouts. nano machines in your body will take care of the security clearance and what allow does you access give me? to I'm the very node. New to Twitch. It gives me a subscription button, and, and whoever if they subscribes to me gets access to, to like access for a while. Uh, specially made Stay emoticons. Um, a lot of the times, I also think it helps get rid of ads and shit. Like it's. It's a bunch of different stuff that not only benefits the broadcaster, it benefits the people who follow me. But uh, Hope Within Chaos actually got a sub button uh, last week. Um, I officially passed him in followers a couple weeks ago. Um, I have... Since my big jump into the streaming, um, he he averages anywhere from about 35 to 50 viewers every time he streams, and he normally stuff does stuff like JRPGs, which is kind of a very niche niche audience. And uh, they gave him a sub button, and he had actually already been partnered for a couple years. So yeah, if you guys like uh, JRPGs, definitely check out uh, Hope Within Chaos's channel. Because he, he is definitely, he, he's a super awesome guy, and I love him to death, and he's always entertaining, and he always does really cool games. So definitely check him out if JRPGs are your thing. Uh, your sub thing will be a lantern ring, right? Um, a green lantern symbol will most definitely be one of my emotes, absolutely. But I mean, I've I've applied three different times, and I've gotten denied each time. So it's not a matter of making number one. Please don't make second accounts. Uh, just to follow me. Just spread the word about the channel so we can make the viewer count grow larger. Yeah, Twitch is kind of a Good work, right? A weird the beast. The should be functioning now. Remember your VR training sessions. The tool is exactly the same one. It maps the terrain as well as the position of enemy personnel. 
The bright dot in the middle is you riding. The red dots are your enemies, and the blue cone shape represents their field of vision. Your radar isn't affected by the weather, but if you're discovered by an enemy, you won't be able to use it. It gets jammed easily, I'm afraid. It's all made from currently existing technology. You won't be able to use it in an area with strong harmonic resonance. Yeah, that's true, so Ryan. Because like, you keep forgetting your damn password, so you just make another account. Now be available after touching the start <laughs> button. How do I save the mission data? I've set aside a proprietary frequency for saves and an analyst to work on the data too. Jack, is everything all right? What are you doing here? Jack, can you hear me? Rose, you're not supposed to be involved. What's going on? Jack, I'm a part of this mission. Colonel, what the hell is going on? Raiden, meet the mission analyst. She'll be overseeing the data saving and support. Why her? The Foxhound analyst that was supposed to take part in this mission was in an accident. Rosemary was brought in as a replacement. An accident? And according to the files, she knows you better than anybody else. Rose may be in the service, but an intelligence Shh. analyst is no field officer. Not to worry. She has our technical staff at her disposal. She's never been a part of a field mission. This is insane. I have my own our reasons for selecting her for this upon. mission, soldier. Colonel, um, I fail to see. I know your VR training performance in and out. Yeah, kind of. Sometimes kinda. that's not enough. Like, I wouldn't You're familiar totally with the say Moses no, incident? You know I but when it comes it to VR. games, especially if games like this, where I know people detail, have never seen this us. before, it was the power yeah, of the operative's will to, to survive. I was trained to fight. My personal feelings have no place in a mission. We've learned that it doesn't work that way. And on the field, you need all the help you can get. Jack, you're stuck with me whether you like it or not. Well, Rose, fine, bitch. <laughs> you need someone to watch your back. But I have conditions that need to be met, Colonel. What is it? I'll perform my duties and save that mission data. But I'm aware that technically I'm not part of the mission control team. After all, I'm just a normal girl who's worried about Jack. But that means, Colonel, that I am not required to follow your orders outside of my immediate duties. Jack is not simply a field personnel for me to track. Can I say Ned Stark dies? <laughs> yes, you can say Ned Stark and because dies. because of that, I will be monitoring and keeping a record of every communication you have with him, Colonel. Given the circumstances, you're free to do. I don't know. After fit. after having to suffer through pixels, I'm no longer rooting for Tyrion Lannister like to, make to a die. Request, if I may. Uh, to live. Of course. His handle is Raiden. For the duration of the mission, could you call him that? Yes, sir. All right, Raiden. Yeah. After Let watching pixels, I'm no longer save. rooting for Tyrion Lannister to live. The proprietary save frequency is one four zero point nine six. No, I haven't gotten that far. God damn it, we broke the internet. What? Do you know what day it is tomorrow? April 30th. Is there something special about it? Isn't there? I can't remember. I'm sorry. Oh well. I'll keep trying till I hear the answer. I'm gonna let you go now, Jack. Take care. Oh shit, those motherfuckers are about to wake up. We can't let that happen, can we, kids? Raiden, the enemy sentry is regaining consciousness. Be careful, Jack. Find somewhere to hide until the elevator arrives. You must stay out of sight. Oh shit, he's awake. You don't see me. I am part of this pallet. I am the pallet. I am nothing but a plank of wood. Do you not see me planking? Go away! Call him Raiden for the remainder of the mission. Sure. Take care, Jack. Shit. <laughs> oh, 
Oh man, Crydian, you, you, you missed it last sons night. Of Liberty. When, because we did Metal Gear Solid the one last night. Leader is Solid Snake. And like me, the fucking chat, like we were just going in on Meryl. <laughs> the hero of <laughs> the Shadow shit was Moses? hilarious. So that's why you changed my code name. Right, but he can't be the Solid Snake. He died two years ago on that tanker after he blew it sky high. Could he have survived? Not a chance. <laughs>